Well, hi there. I'm Mary Kopsinski, the CEO of Regolitics. Being a mom in a park on a nice fall day of parent-teacher conferences, while updating you on this week's 16,986 regulatory alerts. The nice thing is with Regolitics, doesn't take me that long to do. I could become an expert on just about any regulatory topic you want in short order and do these videos for you. Uh, but for these updates, I only pick what's interesting to me, which I'm sure you can imagine by now is a pretty, pretty high bar. The regulator of the week is the Office of Management and Budget. What could be more boring than the Office of Management and Budget? It's basically the regulator that's responsible for the budgets of all of the federal agencies. Remember? Wait a minute. It's responsible for the budgets of all of the federal agencies. In 2023, the federal government is estimated to have spent, is, is going to be spending $6.3 trillion. So this week, as a response to Biden's AI executive order from last week, the OMB proposed new agency requirements in areas of AI governance, innovation, and risk management. And it's going to direct agencies to adopt a specific minimum risk management practices for the uses of AI that's going to impact the rights and safety of the public, all of us. So translation, any company that does anything for the federal government from soda pop for the military to Microsoft Office licenses is going to have new standards and requirements they have to follow in relation to using AI. And guess what? That means if your company does business with any company that does business with the federal government, these standards ultimately trickle down to you. Even more amazingly, written comments must be received on or before December 5th, 2023. So this sucker's moving fast. The topic of the week is, well, good news. It seems some statistics in this world are finally improving. Just as the CDC announced a few weeks ago that firearm deaths are finally down in America for the first time in a long time, a new study from the CDC and the FDA shows that high schoolers using tobacco products have dropped, primarily driven by decline in e-cigarette use. Sadly, middle school students had an increase. And let's stick with the good news. For example, the FTC announced this week that consumer complaints about robocalls and unwanted live telemarketing calls have decreased to a five-year low. And the last set, which despite all the media attention about electric vehicles hitting a standstill on sales, California announced that 26.7 of all new cars sold in quarter three of 2023 were zero emission. So what else do you need to know? Obviously, Sam Bankman-Fried got convicted on all counts of fraud, but you know that. I'm here to tell you the stuff you might have missed like the fact that the White House launched the first ever national strategy to counter Islamophobia, or perhaps that the New York Department of Financial Services has amended its cybersecurity regulations. It's a 22 page document and you can clearly see what they added. Basically, you need a CISO or some sort of cyber person who adores writing policies and procedures. You need written risk assessments you need a business continuity management plan, and you need to identify what you're doing to prevent issues and how you're mitigating risks. And the last thing that caught my attention was a good old fashioned regulator fight club alert. Okay, fine, I'm over dramatizing it, but the Texas State Board of Education asked the public for comments on what textbooks it should pick, and the Railroad Commission of Texas wrote a letter saying that the material should not adopt a radical environmentalist agenda promoting net zero lessons over teaching students realistic science, technology, engineering, and mathematics skills needed for high paying jobs in the energy industry. And that's it this week for Regolitics. Join me every Wednesday for your dose of regulatory news.